issues. I'm Tiffany. I'm Sal. And I'm Ethan. And that's always weird when you're sitting on the couch. I know. It never weird. is not weird <laughs> if he's sitting here. not my seat. I know. I know. You've, you've dethroned him. Yeah. Now, he couldn't be here, but that's okay. Because I think these guys are going to really enjoy this book. Today, we are going to be doing Ghost Rider, Danny Catch, Volume 2. Oh, this was sent to us um, by a member of the population, so thank you very much. Um, and yeah, I got to tell you, out of the gate, I remember I remember getting this book, and we're sitting on the couch, ha ha ha, Danny Catch, and I start flipping through it, and there were two issues in here I immediately recognized oh. because I have them, and I've read them, and I was like, yeah. I'm reading well. this book, I'm gonna get into Danny Catch. I finished reading this oh, yeah. book. I go and I have to digitally buy because the first volume is very expensive. Mm. The first volume of this book, right, so and you know I read through that. <laughs> You don't need it. Oh, there's, there's Johnny Blaze Ghost Rider, which is one everybody likes yeah. and everybody knows. Yes. But Danny Ketch is the design that everyone identifies Ghost Rider with. Mm -hmm. exactly. Danny Ketch was my Ghost Rider when I was growing up, and I didn't know a damn thing about him. <laughs> right. he, he would show up in, uh, in my books. He would right. invade my books and be like, I'm awesome! And then leave, and I'm like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Okay, so Johnny Blaze makes a deal with the devil, right? He kind of yeah. asks for it. Yes, yeah. he does. He's, He's betrayed by Mephisto, but ultimately does make a deal with the devil. That's not... No. Danny Cash does not make a deal with Mephisto? No. Or the devil? No. Are there any deals at all? Not with him. Is the devil involved? Uh, or Mephisto? In our, the most roundabout... <laughs> circuitous way possible i see okay danny catch um in volume one we find out danny catch is in a graveyard with his sister barb are they goth no aren't good <laughs> oh they're just sad they're just no people. no no it's uh i think it's all hell's eve and she wanted to see houdini's grave and he promised he'd take her wait is she an illusionist no she's just really interested hey, look they just need to be there okay <laughs> fair enough so they get there and they get like attacked by some gang members. There's a lot of like gang what? members in the nineties. You guys don't understand. Like, in the nineties, there were roving gangs everywhere, right, just assaulting people. And there's like it, and in like really sanctified areas, churches, graveyards, yes. yeah. Denny's. And they're like, and these gang members are teenagers at times, or not teenagers, or whatever. Mm -hmm. They get past that, and then all of a sudden they hear some other scuffle going on, and they go to check it out, and there's like something going on between. The Kingpin's men. Oh. oh. And another guy by the name of Death Watch and his guys, and they're fighting over canisters. Okay. Of and, what? Uh -oh. Of of biotoxin, as it turns out. Okay. Um, and three of them will like help to like annihilate like the entire tri-state area and beyond. <laughs> oh no. And um, essentially, uh, the gang members that originally accosted um danny and his sister barb get in the middle of it they take the canisters and it all just goes to hell someone gets shot barb screams out they shoot her in the stomach oh. danny's like i gotta get her out of here and as he's in the graveyard a magic motorcycle shows up and he hops on and he gets her out of there and then wait so what, the canisters what? don't play into this at all he doesn't the get like the canisters come back later on but like so he gets on the motorcycle, and the motorcycle has a, a a symbol in the gas cap and it starts to glow and when it glows he becomes ghost rider Wait. So a magic motorcycle what? appears, he uses it, and that's what makes him Ghost Rider. Yes. Where does it come from? Why is there a magic motorcycle in this graveyard? Okay, so let me... Is, there, let is me it tied me, into the me, original Ghost Rider? Let me... No, no, okay. Well, yeah, because old Ghost Rider rode a motorcycle. Let me, let me, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Upon further research, 20,000 years ago... Let's start there, yeah. <laughs> Let's go back. Prior, go back. prior to Fall of Atlantis... Um, oh, sure. The demon Zarathos was, like, messing stuff up everywhere, now, right? Now, the demon Th Zarathos is what bonded to Johnny Blaze's soul, which allowed him to become the ghost. Correct. Okay. That's correct. And there was this organization called The Blood, and they were, like, not having any of it. The Blood would later rename themselves the Midnight Suns. Oh! They were in a war against him, essentially. Mephisto is involved with that um, because he was jealous of the souls that, that Zarathos had, essentially. All you need to know is at the end of the day, they end up like see like the the blood ends up like sealing part of Zarathos and a bunch of other power into a medallion, and Some then they like part of him <laughs> is imprinted on the medallion. <laughs> yes, yeah. and then they break the medallion and they give it to two different families. One of which is the Kale family, and essentially like their descendants. One I think it's the Kale family. One's a caretaker. It doesn't fucking matter. 
but the descendants of this family are involved with this intrinsically. So around like the 17th century, there's this guy named Noble Kale. Mm-hmm. Okay. And his dad is a pastor, and he falls in love with this woman named Magdalena. And they like have a tryst going on, and he knows that his dad's not going to be into that because he's like a staunch religious man. Sure. Uh, who also has a kid, so like get over it. Right. Um, she gets pregnant. He The, the dad finds out, um, ends up having her. I think she has the baby. But uh, he ends up burning her at the stake. Oh, uh. Sure. As a witch, she's like, she's a witch! But, uh, uh, no. She's He's just annoyed that she witch. broke his rules. And then, when as she's dying, she curses him, and the Furies come out, and they start attacking him, and then the pastor makes a deal with Mephisto, because he shows up. Oh! Because he's like, hey! This isn't complicated enough! Hello! <laughs> <laughs> and Pastor Kale makes a deal with him, gives, like, sacrificing his son's soul. Oh, yes. oh, yeah, okay. So he okay. sacrifices no What does that have to do with soul. half the medallion? Oh, because he recognizes, like, the power of one of the shards within Noble, because it's, like, That's why down. he, like, had his number. So he's like, yeah, I'll totally do that. Oh. And he bonds him with the spirit of vengeance. What, Noble Kale? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I should mention the earlier, the, the blood we're working with, these, these other being called the spirits of vengeance. There are multiple, multiple spirits of vengeance. Them. Anyway... So he ends up buying to then, and then, like, Noble ends up killing the Furies, and then he kills his dad, and then, like, horrified by that, he tries to kill himself, and he succeeds, and then Mephisto's like, hello, I'm here to get your soul! Yeah. Uh, and then this angel shows up, she's like, nah, man, nah. That was, he, he was not he's involved not, in the not deal. Really, it's not right. really his fault. You can't do it's that. It's not really, you pushed him to this, yeah. so he should go to heaven, and Mephisto's like, you gotta go with me. So they're like, you know what we'll do? We'll just put him in the void. Oh! And then... That's a fair deal. Anytime... <laughs> Like the- Ghostwriter is nothing but fair deals all around. <laughs> Everyone gets a fair share. And then anytime like a descendant of the Kale family like gets a hold of whatever, they can summon him. And the, ma- the, the, the medallion. N- yeah, guard? and like they'll become the spirit of vengeance. So it's a gas cap. Well, yeah. Like okay. So spoilers. Twenty-five year old story. <laughs> not or- for this because no. it's not in here. Oh, oh damn um, it. Naomi Kale. Okay, so in this we're gonna find out that didn't catch. And his mom, Mrs. Catch, Francis Catch, yeah. are trying to get over Barb's death, and they live alone because dad's gone, right? Right. So Barb did die. I was going to say, the, the, Barb despite died. the magic motorcycle, Barb right, died. It, 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 it she went hell. to a coma, and then we'll find out later why she died. Oh. Um, but Francis Catch is not his mom. their biological mother. Oh, oh no. no. Naomi Kale is their biological mother, okay. and she had three children. Daddy Catch, Barbara Catch. And Johnny Blaze. What? Danny Catch and Johnny Blaze are actually brothers, brothers by the father by Barton Blaze. Now, she felt she, so badly about everything. I think Barton Blaze dies. She gives Johnny up to the other family. He represses all of these memories. She takes the oh, other two and them. pushes them off on Francis Catch, who raises them. Neither of them know that they are brothers. But in the meantime, Danny Catch becomes Ghost Rider. Yes. Kind of by accident. <laughs> kind of by accident. But mm, not actually because of, like, machinations beyond his control. Right, and he has no idea any Right, and he's it. just kind of like, what? He, he Which, of course, Ghost Riders like are kind of used to. He's also, like, uh, Danny Catch, man. Is he? Danny Catch. Now, here's a question. Is he only the Ghost Rider when he gets on the motorcycle, since it's attached to the gas cap? Right. The Seemingly, when the gas cap glows, when innocent blood is spilled, which was part of it because he had his sister's blood in his hand, he touched the gas cap, and ah. became, the, the motorcycle kind of controls that. So, okay, like, because I always, whenever, whenever <laughs> Ghost Rider so ever, dumb. whenever in, Ghost Rider invaded my books, right. he always was like, innocent blood was spilled, and it had to be literal blood that was spilled on the ground, and then he would show up. Right. Yeah. Now, does it explain why he's such an asshole? This because Ghost Rider? Because Danny Ketch is constantly, like, single track mind about vengeance. Mm. He would usually just show up, be a cool looking tattoo, <laughs> do nothing useful, uh-huh. And then leave, and he would say, mission accomplished. Like, he would always just <laughs> show up. I remember, like, in the old Spider-Man books by McFarlane, he would show up, usually because Hobgoblin would be there. Uh-huh. And he'd be like, Hobgoblin, ooh, he's spilling all kinds of blood. Uh-huh. And then Spider-Man would just be like, get, get, get away. Yeah. And then he'd be like, woohoo, victory! And then ride off in the sunset. And, you're, and Spider-Man would go, what an asshole! Danny, <laughs> all right. Is, this, is that basically this book? <laughs> I would hope not. This book is a series of <laughs> kind of random things with one thread that will eventually be resolved. Okay. okay. And ab- along the way, That's all other things for. are going to happen. Now, however, the main thread of this book has started in a previous book, but when we get there, I'll clue you in. 
This book, of course, is written by Howard Mackey with art by Mark Texiera, which I kind of like He's his cool. art. I got to tell you, if you're drawing a ghost writer, you have to be able to render a skull, and this man knows how to render a skull because drawing a skull is really hard. Uh, yeah, it's not easy. It's, it's really hard to do. It's hard to imagine since it's literally the part this of every also, human condition. This, this right here, this here, this is one of the issues. This is the very first, not here, obviously, but um, cover that, on comics that was glow in the dark <laughs> when it came out. Awesome! I have that issue. Same. Nice. Uh, question about the artist name. Is that yes. is that Teixeira? I'm sure it is. Okay. I like to say Texiera because he goes by Tex. <laughs> oh, he does. Okay. This book actually opens up in the realm of Nightmare. Oh. You know, classic, you know, Ghost Rider villain, Nightmare. Okay. Nightmare is the uh, king of dreams, essentially. He rules the dream realm. And uh, he... Is he king of all dreams or just nightmares? Uh, seemingly of all dreams, but he really likes to focus on, uh, on nightmares. nightmares. <laughs> um, he has a specialization in nightmares. Yeah. What's funny is, of course, he kind of looks a little bit like Morpheus from Sandman, but yes, he whatever. does. Looks a lot like him. And um, he's really interested in Danny Catch. He's like, oh man, people have been dreaming about you. I've been waiting for this, Ghost Rider. Hang on. And then his alarm, you know, sounds... Because that's like the ultimate enemy of Nightmare. Yes, is, is the is alarm. alarm park, oh, like obviously. Okay. So he wakes up and and he's off to go, uh, you know, beat up some thugs. Okay. Because sure. if nothing else, Danny Catch gets information by going and interrogating thugs, <laughs> hooligans, people. and gang members. Who deserves okay. to get a beat? He's like Rorschach. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. So he's looking for this guy who was involved with Zodiac or the Zodiac Killer, oh. the Zodiac Serial. Not that guy. Oh. Oh. This guy is full on head to toe green. He wears a green head sock. He wears a green bodysuit. He wears green shoes. He has a little green cape with a big green cowl. He has an onk around his neck. He is entirely zodiac themed. He has a ridiculous grin. He has a cigar. He apparently has like he can see like he's at like his eyes are there. It's very nineties, and you'll you'll see him in a minute. When you Can't say he's zodiac themed, what does that mean? You know. Like he has the symbols from the Zodiac all over Oh, him. you'll see. He was introduced <laughs> in the But he's not the Zodiac killer in real life no, in New York. But he is a serial killer named Zodiac what? in New York. So he's clearly a reference to the Zodiac killer. Right. But so, they're like, but what? He, they, you know what? The, the, the horror that the real Zodiac killer like, right, that's, wrought. That's not cool and extreme enough. No. So they introduced him in the last volume right at the end. And that's okay. and like that is the common thread. Zodiac is the common thread. And that's Danny Ketch the is common trying to get him? in these books? So some rando villain that Danny Ketch is like, He's Ooh! not! He is not rando. I'll tell you that right now. Does he have any powers? Yes, you'll, you'll find out Good. all about those. Um, so, um... And so Zodiac has been killing in New York and, and Ghost Rider seeking vengeance upon him. He did have a sure. run-in with him, but it turns out Zodiac had a doppelganger, which is a machine, and Ghost Rider beat it up, and Zodiac got away. Like a robot? Yeah. Like Built by ro- whom? Zodiac. He ha- he can make robots, too? That look like people? Well, it looks like him in his suit. Yeah. So, all right, anyway, so he beats him up because the pen stare doesn't work. He's like, oh, robot crush. Oh, okay. <laughs> um... Now, does Danny Ketch not kill people? Like, why would he care whether it's a robot? Like, why is that? Danny Ketch tries not to kill people, but oh, Ghost, Ghost Rider, Rider has, has no problem with oh, okay. it. Would like to. So yeah, there he is. There's so he has Ash. all the same powers. What a Whoa. jackass! That wow. sucks. So, <laughs> so Danny Ketch is about to face Zodiac. He turns into the Ghost Rider, and Nightmare is like, "Whoa, I got you! That was really hard. I had to get you mid transformation, but you guys are both here. Whoa. I've separated the two of you. That's awesome. Hey, Zarathos." Man, I've, I've been waiting for you. Because, remember, and then he literally does an information dump on Danny Catch about th- their backstory, about oh. how he's like, man, that was awesome when you were, like, killing people because people were terrified of you, and, like, I was getting for more at powerful. For least a little while, and, and then they was, died. Well yeah, well, yeah, but then he's getting more powerful, and, like, he liked that, and he's like, and then when you were attached to Johnny Blaze, I gave your memories back, and then you like whizzed it in epic, like in record time mm-hmm. and you ended up trapped in a crystal with Centurius fighting for all time but look you're out and isn't that awesome well so he wasn't fighting for all time well he thought he was <laughs> right and he's like he's like but now you're out and that's awesome so let's do this and Ghost so, Rider's so like, reader are you caught up yet <laughs> right and Ghost Rider's like I don't, I don't know what you're talking about but Zarathos doesn't run. Oh, the Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider's remember. like, I don't know what you're talking about. He's like, about. that's not me. Yeah, he We're gave two him different a, characters. Except Ghost Rider is unaware of that he doesn't know who he is Oh. so like so, Nightmare tries to give him these memories back, and he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. So then Nightmare's just like, screw it, I'm just gonna kill you. Wait, <laughs> does he get, like, all of Johnny Blaze's memories? He just Ghost tries Rider's to give memories? him some. He's like, he just tries to give him some of Zarathos, like, like, hey, remember all that? Remember, yeah, and he's this? like, no, like, nah, no, man, stop. no. So then, literally, <laughs> he, just, he yeah. just quits. Nightmare's just like, I'm just gonna kill him, I don't care. And then he beats up Ghost Rider a whole bunch, okay. and Johnny Blaze rides around this him. Is... Yeah, what? Johnny Blaze like, 
What is he? Is this in a dream? Well, they're in the they're in the realm of dreams. They're, they're in the dream realm. Like he pulls them. Where Johnny Blaze is hanging out. Yeah. Well, he took no, both no, of no. them. He took Danny Catch and oh. Ghost Rider. Yeah, he took those two together. Oh. Remember, it's not that they're not one person. No. They become one person. Oh, okay. So then Danny Catch holds hands with Ghost Rider and they become one again because that makes Ghost Rider more powerful. It's if they hold hands. Well, yeah, that's how they become one. <laughs> And then he tries to do his pen and stare on him, but that's not going to work because he's Nightmare. He so he's no like, that's not going to work. He's like, he's like, that's okay. I'm going to give vengeance anyway by leaving. What? what by like waking up? Just just by, no, just by no, bailing. he leaves because he's he not asleep. He just walks away? Yeah. He no. just rides out of the dream world and right to a bubble casted by Doctor Strange. <laughs> so Doctor Strange shows up what? and he puts him in a magic bubble and he's just like, hey, Zarathos. So but everyone man. keeps thinking that Ghost Rider's Zarathos and they all want a piece of him. And Ghost Rider's just kind of like along for the ride, if you will. <laughs> he's just like, I just want vengeance. So he's just like, hey so man. So this is the issue that you read, or one of the ones that you I read. Because you have this I issue. I have both of these issues. Okay. There's two issues wow. with Doctor the, Strange. He literally is in the bubble. He's in a bubble. He's in a magic bubble. He's, he's a bubble like, boy. He's like, hey man, me and my crew were here to see you because I need something from you. With and of Dr. course, Strange and his Dr. Crew. Strange and his crew, you know, he's got his, his he has, lady he has, like, friend Topaz, who is an empath who's got a demon attached to her soul. Just like Ghost Rider. Well, here's the thing. That demon's not really doing anything, but they still want to get rid of it. He's just kind of hanging out. He's not okay. a place to be. And they're like, nah, you gotta Can go. Can they see him? Is he like, yeah. And he shows up at one point um, for like a quick second with the Predator. And then, Sweet. of course, Doctor Strange is accompanied by his magical manservant. Wong. Rintra, the green... Mm. Uh, Minotaur from another dimension. Oh, sure. Yeah, that old chestnut. That rich, round character from uh, from Doctor Strange's history. He is from Doctor Strange's history. They do oh. have something of a history together. They oh. met around the time that Strange had to get his cloak of levitation repaired or whatever. But anyway, he wants to learn the... <laughs> he it can't be that important. He looks, looks great. Right? Yeah. Chris looks, like, looks awesome. great. He looks awesome. He's a great photo. Everyone picture. else looks picture. dumb. Well, yeah, because he doesn't really draw these guys. Doctor <laughs> Strange is—it's like he's hanging out with the Cyber Demon and like receptionist Karen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Doctor Strange's like my cool Karen from accounting. So, yeah. Doctor Strange needs like a piece of his fire or his soul or whatever. He basically, needs or a whatever, piece of the because it's part of the spell to remove the demon from Topaz. So oh, then they well, all... you need like so another need... demon to get the demon oh, out. You need like a little piece of this and a little bit of that. Yeah, it's like Eye of Newt and yeah. Wind Frog and whatnot. It's yeah. So... A piece of Ghost Rider. <laughs> so essentially, Strange still thinks that he's Zarathos. They have a little bit of a fight, and then Ghost Rider takes off because he's like, oh man, I gotta get vengeance. Here I go. So, so is the resolution <laughs> to this like he's just not Zarathos? Like they're just wrong? Yeah. Because why well, are they always like. like Everyone says he's Zarathos because the last Ghost Rider that anyone ever saw was, was Zarathos. Zarathos right. So, right, like, how could there be more than one Ghost Rider? Right, he's connected to him because he's Johnny Blaze's brother. Yeah, but nobody so... knows that at this point. Oh. That doesn't come out till way later. Oh, okay. Yeah. The fact that he's not Zarathos, people eventually kind of buy because they're like, you don't act like Zarathos. Right. Right, you keep getting confused when we call you Zarathos. Yeah, you right. also don't seem to have the bloodlust of Zarathos. Mm. Except for the fact that when innocent blood is spilled, he immediately arrives. Well, yeah, there is that. So anyway, <laughs> Ghost Rider, like, Wait. Yeah. So Ghost Rider's main motivation is just getting vengeance and fighting a green dick in a tunic. Well, no. And everyone else just keeps derailing him from his mission. <laughs> well, yeah. Is that this whole book? No, because then he runs into some other people he wants to get vengeance on. That he thought he uh, already got but vengeance it's just, on. But it's literally just, he's like Pac-Man. He's just like pellets. And then he sees other pellets and he goes to get those pellets. But it's all pellets. Yes. Okay. Sweet. So anyway, so he ends up finding the location of, um... Zodiac. Okay, great. I think he ends. I think he ends up like. Yeah. How does he get this information? As lowly, he he shakes up someone. someone I'm sure. Right. Information. He shows up. He takes care of a couple of regular guys. He runs this guy over with a motorcycle. That looks awesome. And then now this is by the way. This is my favorite. This guy, right? There's blood coming out. Yeah. This is my favorite Ghost Rider (laughs) motorcycle. Number one, it looks badass. Hmm. And number two, it's fire tires. Yeah. They're not tires on fire like right. you see everywhere. They're, They're literal flame, flame tires. Yeah. So when he's like when it's not flaming, it doesn't go anywhere. Right? It doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> but like he is running this guy over with a tire made of fire. Exactly. Yeah. It's like a fire chainsaw that's just going through him. That's <laughs> awesome. They needed to dedicate more panel space to that right. guy. But they did it. So when he, when he gets there, he finds that like Zodiac's contracted a really ridiculous magic machine that's like ah. sucking the souls he makes out, of, out of people. Essentially, like, he's got all these kids in there and these mystics, and, like, 
Oh, he's got, like, child mystics that are, like, powering the machine? No, he has chi- children in the bubble, and mystics are powering the machine. Oh. And essentially, they're trying to open up a portal so the demons can come in. Okay. So, so the children are, like, a sacrifice? Yeah, exactly. They'll help Zodiac? Why? They're not... Uh, no, the children are in the bubble. No, no the I mystics. mean, when the, when the demons come through the portal, oh, yeah. they'll be like, what up? And then kill uh, everyone. They always think that the demons will help them. They really do. They'll be they're so always grateful wrong. for being he has let a, out. He's got a pretty good reason, to be fair. So okay. then Zodiac shoots Ghost Rider and like... Wait, with of, what? Uh, he's, he's a big space gun. And they all oh. have big space guns. Does so they work? like, Yeah, they like shoot him with like magic power oh. and then and then dr strange shows up and his merry band of tools and his merry band of tools <laughs> and they end up saving the kids but in doing so they release a demon so they fight a demon for oh a whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, whoa they fight whoa, whoa. a demon yeah well dr strange is there of course we're gonna fight a big demon of course um, and the first de- and the first thing demon shows up and does is thanks uh, Zodiac for releasing him and then does his bidding. Well, no, Zodiac ca- kind of takes... He just bails, doesn't he? He's like, bye. He takes a page out of Ghost Rider's book and just leaves. It doesn't look like they saved the children. It looks like they're holding the corpses of No, they're okay. The Rintra's just putting them over there. They're just naked and kind of knocked out. So <laughs> then Sorry, Zodiac still is hanging around, right? And okay. like, Ghost Rider starts beating the hell out of him because he knows it's a doppelganger. And in fact, it is a doppelganger. Right. So then Doctor Strange and he decide that um, they should go and try to find all the demons. You can see the predator demon there. Why did the art change completely? Because we are now in a Doctor Strange strange book now this book was i believe a direct to market so people were being sent this book so this book dr strange issue 28 had to be sold on newsstands so that people could follow along with what was going on in ghost rider yes is he driving on a road of skeletons um (laughs) yes does that happen in the comic no God damn it! Damn well, it. No, I mean, like, Strange opens up, like, a, a hellmouth kind of thing, and I guess that could be skeletons, but it's really just no. energy. No. Um, it's not, that is not a road of skeletons. It's a monster so, that has skeletons. Uh, so, okay, so Dr. Strange... Demerit number one. And he decide that they need to go after... Um, the demons. No, the demons. They're gonna get the demons instead. Oh, right, the demons so Zodiac wants to release demons from their natural place of like business, where well, they live. Well, and they're like, well, let's just go there and kill the demons. That way, Zodiac can't go get them. Right. So that sucks. <laughs> so, well, Doctor Strange's kind of that's probably a good idea. So they decide to go and do that, and it's just gonna be the two of them because <laughs> Rintra is like, can I come too? And Ghost is like, no. <laughs> you're oh. no, you're lame. <laughs> no one's yeah, buying this base. issue to read about Rintra. <laughs> Nobody cares about you. So, so Strange has no respect for like, like natural ecosystems. Or yeah, there's a place where demons would go to naturally well, reside. Go to Africa, and be like, these lions are like killing people. I'm just gonna kill all the lions. No, how about we should leave the lions no. alone? No, <laughs> slaughter no. all the lions. No, because they're like scary. I'm gonna go to the demon world and kill all the okay. demons. Okay, hang worry on, about. I will answer that. But first, I gotta tell you that while they're doing that, they send Rintra and Topaz with the kids because they take accountability for them. Oh they wait, can... they actually do something with these yeah, children? Yeah, they're like, you two Ooh. have to take the kids over to the police station. So right. Rintra casts a spell of illusion over he Yeah, because otherwise it's just a giant hulking it's grubies. It's unusual interest in tying up that plot yeah. to detail. Oh, we'll come back to that. Oh, good. So they go to the, this demon realm where they start fighting demons and it looks awesome. Are they he's having a good time? Doing anything? Or is he just like hanging out being like, yeah, go yeah, strange. See, he's like doing things. He's riding he's whipping around. His whipping chain him with around. his chain. Yeah. Okay. Do they have like fun banter? Are they like, no, take this, Dr. Strange. <laughs> the no, demons like, just... no, please, stop. No, the demons are like, screw you, both of you. Like, they right. don't like either like, of these guys. What are you doing guys. here? No, they have like, they know strange and they're not uh, a fan. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. So these guys are called the, Di- the Dicors yeah. Or the dick ores. Okay. Whatever you Either want way, to call it's not good. But they were involved with in Inferno. Yes! X Men's Inferno crossover, which yes. ruined a bunch of other comics as well. So. Just the demon world is trying to invade the Marvel Universe. Okay. Right. Which and demon world? The demon world. The oh. world from which demons reside. Well, demons? these demons well, definitely are. are the Dicor, or yeah. whatever. Or the whatever they are called. Dicor? Is it D I C H O? It's D Y K K O R S. Oh. Wow. That okay. sounds like decor. Decor? Decor. Like decor? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so essentially, like, they made a deal with Zodiac Whoa. to get them out. Okay. Because they want to come there sure. and, like, by killing people and, like, doing everything that he does, he's helping he's strengthen So they them. failed with uh, Inferno, so they're like, they're well, let's try a doctor, let, let's try a Ghost Rider villain. Yeah. yeah. why don't we see what that happens? Yeah. So then, like, they, they threaten to, like, kill, um... Freaking strange and Ghost Rider, but so, that's okay. They they just leave. So it's a good thing. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so it's a good thing what? that Doctor Strange and Ghost Rider decided to take a preemptive strike against the demons because the demons were planning on I escaping know. anyway. But then uh, they just bail. 
<laughs> yeah, they're like, okay, we gotta get out of here. Like, we figured out the plan, I they're guess. They're like, we gotta we'll close go. the portals and leave. Here we go. So they leave. Which fighting is... the demons was not the plan. So well, we gotta, they... they were just gathering intel. Uh, like, yeah. I think fighting the demons was part of the plan. And then they, they realized how... punch some demons, and they're like, okay, we punched some demons, let's go back. Okay, yeah. like, this is hard. Well, they yeah, I guess that's what it is. There's just, like, a lot of demons it's here. Like, it's like they're from here. <laughs> So, Rincher and Topaz drop the kids off. They part ways at the police station and they leave. Rincher and Topaz? They're yeah, like, bye. Yeah, they're bye. And then Don't Zod- they all live with Strange or hang out with him? Yeah, but then like Zodiac shows up and he kills a cop using his, his claws of the Leo. What? His lion claws? His claws of the Leo. That's a power he has? Well, yeah, because the claw like the Leo is a Zodiac. Yeah. Um, so, it's like a thing he puts on his so hand. Does he have like... It's just, wait, wait. just knives on a glove. Yeah. <laughs> So he doesn't have magic powers at all, does he? He's just a fraud. So anyway... <laughs> um, Big fat phony. So then like, he ends up finding Topaz, because like, they turn themselves back into who they are, and he finds Topaz and he uses his sting of the scorpion to stab her, but then he realizes she's bleeding green... It's just a knife, right? No, it's like a... It's like a I don't know. <laughs> uh, and then he realizes she's greeting, or bleeding green blood, and he's like, oh my god, it's Rintra! But don't worry, it's not like Rintra wasted his life, essentially, because he's dying... Um, Topaz totally what? shows back up. Wait, so he killed Rintra? Yeah. But Rintra was dying anyway? No, because, oh. see, look. Oh. No, he, ki- he thought he killed Topaz, oh. but it turns out the illusion spell that was cast on Rintra was Why? to look like Topaz. Because so they thought Topazes. he might come after them. Uh, what? But it didn't work because he just killed him. Yeah, first of all, they, they got, he, they failed. Was Rintra trying to sacrifice himself? Yeah, he was trying to save Topaz. He's oh. like, I'm gonna save Topaz, and then oh. Topaz shows up anyway. Does Rintra <laughs> love Topaz? Is that a thing? I don't know. Okay, He just bad. wants to help. So he's just dead now. He's just a helpful guy he who's just now wants dead. To help. No, he's bleeding to death, oh, so then he's, he's like dead. chasing her, and he's really into it, and it's like kind of uncomfortable how into it he is. Like, he's just like, I like chasing women. This is he's a new like, thing oh, I'm and like, She's like screaming, he's like, this is awesome. <laughs> and he's gonna use his like horns of the Tauros to like run her through. <laughs> But that's okay. That's right. Gore her if you Yes. Will. That's okay because Doctor Strange and, and Ghost Rider show up. and They, they blast are... through the demon world yes. into the real world at the exact moment. Yeah. In the exact same place. Yeah. Well, they, they sensed or something like, what was happening. Do they, they say, like, well, we better find Topaz? Yes. No, Topaz is in no, trouble. That was just a coincidence. Don't. So then Ghost Rider kind of helps to fight um, Zodiac. and um... He's like, this one's not a robot. Well, it's a robot again. No, he's it? he's punching the hell out of him, and okay. Doctor Strange is not helping Rintra at all. He's just watching Ghost Rider beat up. Yeah, Zodiac. Zodiac. Why? Um, is he possessed by a demon? No. Oh, okay, good. No, he doesn't help him for the rest of this scene until it concludes. Oh, he's just watching him do that. He just watches him do it, and then he's just he's like, also Wait like a providing commentary, like, oh, well, that doesn't look like Johnny Blaze to me. Well, Ghost Rider is like beating the crap out of this guy on the assumption that he's a robot, right? And, and then Strange is like, what if he is the real Zodiac? Yeah, and then Zodiac's like, oh ho! Yeah, I had just enough time to pull out my bolos of the Libra, <laughs> God damn it. and I'm gonna use it to create a vortex that you can't see where I go by. Oh, you know, it's funny. A smoke bomb and he runs this away. is amazing because everyone's coup d'état, if you will, is leaving. I know. <laughs> so then he leaves. And Doctor Strange casts a spell to try to find him, and he can't find him. And like Ghost Rider rides around the block for a little bit, and he comes back. He's like, I don't like, know where he is. Nah, he went more well, than I did get this sweet <laughs> So then, like. <laughs> I just I, I passed him two times. I had to get one. <laughs> the second time he made eye contact, I kind of felt third like third time. To... I was like, you know what? I am hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get you one because fuck you. So Doctor Strange briefly checks on Rintra, then says his goodbyes to Ghost Rider, then comforts Topaz, then gets a little teary eyed about the fact that Rintra is dying, and then they leave. What? What does he do with Rintra? I think Ghost takes him and heals him, but he's like Rintra apparently is never quite the same. What? Oh wow. Well, <laughs> well, wound will never fully heal. Oh, so, if only Doctor Strange had, like, the length of an entire fight to have rescued him. To, yeah. help, to start helping him. Well, instead of, like, sitting there saying, like, no. you know, Ghost Rider, you're being real hard on the guy. What if he's not a robot while well, this guy's dying on the street yeah. next to him? Yeah, no. That's sad. So, right? <laughs> it's because he's not long. So yeah. all he managed to do was not save his friend fast enough and distract Ghost Rider so that uh, Zodiac could, could get escape. away. Did, uh, did at least the children not all die? No, the children all made it. Oh, right. The children yeah. all made so it. that's kind of a success. But it's really Rintra's success. Uh, yeah. yes. So, so Doctor Strange and Ghost Rider do literally nothing. Well, Doctor Strange they, learns they, they about like... the demon's plan. Yeah, 
Yeah, they did that. Well, they also learned that like and he Zodiac a few has, demons. He also has some rad new powers. Right. Yeah. So then, um, Ghost Rider um roughs up some gang members again. They get some information. Gotta get some more info. Oh yeah. Well, he actually he's saving someone. Um, oh. Oh, okay. From like a gang attack. Um, and in Swoving doing so, gangs. he oh they're all over the place in Brooklyn apparently. <laughs> And um, he ends up getting a bunch of information about, like, a drug dealer and stuff like that. So now he's on the lookout for this guy. Meet, meet Snowblind, everybody. Snowblind lives in Brooklyn Heights in a brownstone, and he wears his costume all the time. He's just an old guy. <laughs> it is, like, lame superhero costume, but in his apartment. Yeah, that's, like, his base of operations. So <laughs> Snowblind's deal is that he's... It's like saying my house is the base of operations. It's yeah. the command center. It's, 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 yes. it's a little house. Snowblind <laughs> it's is... It's a command center. <laughs> Snowblind's blind. Um, so, Snowblind uh, is blind. Was he blinded by snow? No, he's just blind. Uh, but he has this ability... His snowy white hair, though. ...to project... Yes, he does. <laughs> you know what's funny? His outfit is not, though. It's yellow and brown. <laughs> well, he can't see it. Oh, so yeah. he doesn't know. <laughs> Do you like my outfit? It's as white as the snow. <laughs> and everyone's just uh, like, oh, yeah, Snowblind, yes. it looks real good. <laughs> is, he, is he friend or foe? Oh, he's foe. Jesus. Yeah. Foe. Um, well, he's, he's like, I think he's a drug dealer, and he's also working with... Oh, Snowblind. He's, he's selling coke. also working with Death Watch, who will return in this book. Oh, oh um, hey, he's living in a brownstone. Like Mr. Brownstone. The song about about doing drugs. There you go. So anyway, Snowblind's power is, is that he is blind, but then can project this like field around him that's like super bright and white. And in doing so, he becomes more like powerful, and he can also see. Oh. Oh. Okay. Why does he just do that all the time. I don't know. I guess. Well, he's got to create because it's like the world is bathed in whatever power. He's, yeah, like, he's and I think it's not good. So then, like Ghost Rider, like harasses another guy. Um, so Ghost Rider is not related to Snowblind in any way. Yet. Well, no, because Snowblind is now after uh, Ghost Rider because Death Watch is after uh, Ghost Rider, oh, okay. thanks to the whole canister debacle. Oh um, God, that canister thing! Oh, right? we're back to the canisters finally. Kind okay. of. No, the canisters. The canisters finished up in the other one, but Death oh. Watch never quite got quite over it. So he right. wants Ghost Rider. He's like, "Screw you!" So uh, I will use much like ever, much like the greatest bounty hunter in the galaxy, Boba Fett, right. uh, or Jango Fett. He subcontracts his right. business, his great yes. vengeance. Snowblind. Well, yeah, because really, Death Watch is actually like a businessman, essentially, uh, like on par, not on par with Kingpin, but essentially like, trying to be like that. Yeah, okay. Well, he was he was doing some business with Kingpin. No, he was doing business against Kingpin. Yeah, Kingpin was right. trying to stop whatever. Um, <laughs> Death Watch is, of course, a trans lord who has the ability to um, a trans lord. He's from another dimension, oh. um, and he has the ability to. Um, telepathically or like touch you and be able to see your thoughts but also when someone dies he not only gets like this rush of exhilaration ecstasy almost um uh, but he also becomes a little more powerful so he can touch you and get a boner if you die <laughs> yeah but he also gets more powerful right that's but why like he wants to kill a everybody. little more powerful well yeah but like the more people who die the more powerful he you gets can touch you and see your thoughts and he gets like a thrill from murder yeah so anyway, so Snowblind uses... He's not the first person to get a thrill for murdering someone. <laughs> it's like Jean-Luc Picard, but only in first contact. <laughs> I don't know why I was like, let me quote Lily in first contact. No! No! <laughs> that's fine, because he actually break, breaks his little phone that he's talking on. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's so angry. Okay. Snowblind ends up contacting the police, and like contacting them as much as paying them off to try to get uh, them to kill Ghost Rider, but he's Ghost Rider! Right! Right! So it doesn't work! Yeah, no. I can imagine being that cop and getting that call. Yeah, I need you to kill Ghost Rider. I'll give you a thousand dollars. Ooh, a thousand dollars! A thousand dollars to kill Ghost yeah. Rider? They just try to shoot him a lot, and right. that doesn't work, doesn't so then work. Ghost Rider goes after Snowblind. His face has no flesh on it, and he's still alive. How right? do you expect his, me to his, kill him? His face is burning continuously, but it's not consumed. Exactly. Yeah. I'm supposed to shoot him with a gun? I think not, Snowblind. Like we're well beyond firearms here. It's not gonna happen. So then, freaking apparently, Snowblind has that moment where he says, "Like, if you've got to do things right, you've got to do it yourself." Well, no, because he knows that Ghost Rider's coming for him because oh, he figured no. it out. Ghost Rider figured it out from roughing up the right gang members, he figured, or because or... Howard Mackey's just such a good writer. Whatever. So he literally crashes into his brownstone, and Snowblind activates his powers, so he's stronger, so then they can tussle, yeah. and he just beats the hell out of Ghost Rider. Yeah, he hits him with a lamp. And for nice. she just really Ghost Rider's greatest enemy. <laughs> just really gets him. And then uh, there's like an umbrella that she literally throws. Snowblind just throws everything in his apartment at Ghost right? Rider. And then and Ghost Rider gets in his face. He's like, I'm gonna do the pen and stare. And he's like, whoop! And he turns his powers off. He's blind. 
Oh, so yeah. So he can't stare into his eyes. So Ghost Rider is like, ha! Ah! And then two cops show up, and Ghost Rider is like, okay, and he leaves. Naturally, oh, no. his great move. Yeah. So, so then, go, and then Snowblind's like, hey, you failed me. You know what to do. And one of the cops kills the other cop, and, and then they blame the cop's death on Ghost Rider. Oh, Ghost Rider. Uh, so now Ghost Rider's a wanted criminal again because that's a plot thing that happened in the last one where they thought he was like a child murderer, but he wasn't. Of it was like he's a wanted criminal. He's a skeleton on a motorcycle that's on fire. Yeah, and kills there's no people. registration for that kind of motorcycle. He's, he's a criminal by definition, right? So then we see Death <laughs> he's a Criminal Watch. of life, really. <laughs> So we see Death Watch, and Death Watch is... Okay, so he presumably has Snowblind working for him. He gets in touch with someone uh, by the name of Tyler Meager. She runs Heart, which is, like, a organization of deadly assassin ladies mm-hmm. um, who, like, work for money. I They're, assume like, mercenaries. Heart stands for something. Yeah, it's, like, heroes of uh, something against, I think, like, racial terrorists or something like That's that. That's it. Heroes against racial terrorists. Ooh. No, no, it's H-E-A-R, so, like, engaging oh, against e. right. racial terror. I think it's something like that. Yeah. They were involved in the last volume. They're being called in again, this time under Death Watch. Um, their job will be to collect motorcycles. Because they figured that's how they'll get them. What? what? So, like they figured they might accidentally or, steal his? Yeah, they're trying to look for very <laughs> look for specific... Motorcycle. They no do. Wheels. They're looking for ones that are very specific. They do, don't they? What, steal his motorcycle? Yeah. So anyway... It's- God, Ghost Rider God, goes man. back to the to the cemetery. Yeah. And where it all started. Where it all started. Well, he always goes back to the cemetery. He goes to Houdini's grave? So when he goes, yeah, Cypress Hill Cemetery. He just goes there. Is Houdini and really buried in Cypress Hill? I don't Hill know. Cemetery? We occasionally touch in with this super awesome looking 90s character. I mean, this guy's got it all. He's got the long trench coat. He's got long hair tied in a ponytail. He's got the sunglasses. He wears them inside. He wears them at Oh, nights. I know who this is. He's got a shotgun. He rides a motorcycle. And he is looking for ghosts. Rider, Thanks. and it is none other than Johnny Blaze. I'm sorry, it's John Blaze. That's how he introduces himself. Yes, oh. he's he will be known as a superhero, anti-hero character named Blaze. Well, he is John Blaze right now, and John Blaze is here because he has had enough of Ghost Rider. So he takes Danny Catch and ties him up, and he's just like, "I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for Ghost Rider to show up, and then I'm gonna shoot him with my regular shotgun." <laughs> Well, well, you know that won't work. I you were gonna, Ghost Rider, you shit. I think it's going to work. This time it's going to work. You'll see. Uh-huh. Why does he see. just shoot him when he's not Ghost Rider? Because he... Oh, you're, that's funny. That would be murder. <laughs> God damn it. So, so, he's sitting there. He's waiting for him. He, so, since we have to wait, we might as well... Watch TV? Oh, I was going to say, like, give away all the information the about like, yeah. who he is and where he came from. Well, he explains what. that inev- later on. He actually explains a little bit more about how after Zarathos like, ended up stuck in the crystal, he ended up marrying Roxanne and they have kids. And like he actually left them to come and do this because he's like, Zarathos, you got to go. And he's like, I'm not Zarathos. It's and he's like, I don't know who that is. Everybody keeps it, talking about him. About Does everybody need to know? So, um, so he bails on his family to go kick demon ass? Yeah, essentially. He's does, like, well, why, I got to go back. Then why does he look like... His family was murdered in front of him. Yeah. Because he has, like, perpetual five o'clock shadow. He's smoking, like, a chimney. he's cool! He just, he... I guarantee you he did not dress like this when he was with his family. No, he probably wore He's like, I'm gonna bail on my family now. I'm gonna get a jacket. I gotta go do, like, like anti-hero shit. Yeah. Gotta put my my costume on for that. So they watch TV... Gotta go shoot a demon in the face. (laughs) Here we go. With a regular shotgun. With a regular shotgun. So, for no reason. Puts the TV on, and the TV reports that these two bumbling... Like city workers who are literally the fucking honeymooners. It's Norton Ralph. No! This show that your grandparents, your parents, or whatever reruns are in the sewers because there's a blockage in the sewers and it turns out it's a pile of bodies. Oh shit! Whoa. And then they become part of that pile of bodies. Oh, oh. yeah. Because Blackout's back. Who? Who the crap is Blackout? <laughs> Blackout is a vampire that Danny Ketch fought in the first volume, uh, which was part of the whole cancer thing. He worked for Death Watch. He ended up, like, Death Watch gave up the ghost because Kingpin totally had the drop on him. And then Blackout was like, nah, I got this. And he took the canister. So he ends up tussling with um, Ghost Rider, ends up setting himself on fire with Hellfire, <laughs> essentially. He burns half of his face. Mm-hmm. And now he blames him for that because he was beautiful. Oh, my God. Oh. So that he's, sucks. So, so are the canisters gonna actually come into no, play? No, they were. That's no, it. We already that's, did that. With the, the canisters, canisters are over. Get the over canisters, the canisters and let it go. The, it's just that we are hearkening back to that. So anyway, don't forget the canisters were the linchpin for that story. Exactly. But that story's over. That's so dumb. So then, so then, Danny Catch turns into Ghost Rider. Um, you know, Johnny Blaze immediately is like, ah, magic! And he casts, like, a spell to He has magic, him. too? Well, he learns how to use it, right? But that doesn't work, because he's not a demon, technically. Right. 
Right. So then he explains a whole bunch of stuff, and then Ghost Rider grabs his shotgun and imbues it with Hellfire. Yes. Nice. And then he can shoot him. Yeah, now you can kill me. So that's dumb. Why yeah. would he do that? Because Ghost Rider didn't think about it. So then Johnny Blaze just shoots the hell at a Ghost Rider almost to death. Okay. And then, just as he's about to pull the final trigger, he goes, wait a minute. If I do this, do I kill Danny Catch? Because I don't want to do that. What? Well, yeah, Danny Catch is like inside him. Yeah, you've been doing that constantly. So you dumbass. never thought about that? No, he did not the whole ride What do you there? think was going to happen? Like, no. <laughs> like, like he'd shoot this demon and then like Danny and then Catch Danny would just would fall out? out? And be yeah. like, oh, Thank you for saving me. Yeah, yeah Blaze. I don't know. So then uh, Danny Catch Ghost Rider knocks the gun away from Johnny Blaze and he the runs away. The one that away. he basically gave him. Yeah, he so then he away. rides away. And then he leaves. And then he leaves. And he gets on his motorcycle. He's very good at and that. And he rides through the town and the cops shoot him. And this is and the issue he... that glows in the dark, so it probably sold like a million issues. Okay. <laughs> this is my favorite issue of all. Oh, yeah? Because this is this should be... If it glows in the dark and it's all iconic, it's the image <laughs> behind us, it should be like a perfect jumping on point for Ghost Rider. Okay, so Ghost Rider is dying, and he's riding through the city, and the cops attack him. Okay. Right? And so that causes him to get away, and then he He leaves. He leaves, and then he hits a fire hydrant, and he crashes, and the front part of his motorcycle flies off, and then he lands in a pile of garbage, and he turns back into Danny Catch, and then a bunch of gang members show up as he's trying to pick up his bicycle like a toddler who knocked over their tricycle Mm -hmm. with a scraped knee, and they attack him, and they cut his arm, and they hit him with a brick, and they take his motorcycle, but then Miss Meager's chicks show up, and they take his motorcycle. And they take his motorcycle instead. So then, but they don't know that he's Ghost Rider. No, because like they just took it from the gang members. Yeah, because they've been taking motorcycles. So then he crawls off into the. So the he, park. he gets away. He leaves. He leaves. He leaves and goes into the park. Um, and then essentially Death Watch is like, "Hey, everything's coming up me because." Like blackout. Yeah, he is. Been, he's involved in everything. He's got his fingers in many pots. Right, because yeah. fin- essentially blackout comes to Death Watch and they kind of work it out. Essentially, he's, he's like, like, I filled the sewers with bodies just like you commanded. No, no, he isn't. He's like, I'm not working for you anymore, but I will work uh, with you because we're gonna get him. And he's like, right. fine, cool. He's like, I got them catching the motorcycles. I got you killing people. Meager <laughs> figures out that he is behind or part of the bodies in the sewers. She doesn't want anything of that. She pulls her girls out. She's like, I'm gonna get the Ghost Rider because I think he kills children. He doesn't. It's right. from a previous oh, issue. Yeah, okay. So then, I hope that I hope that everyone can vote, like all, all convert these, well, hang on. Of people. So <laughs> these two chicks are on their way to a fancy dinner party. It's a mom and a daughter, and they're like, "We don't have time. Your dad's gonna be real mad at us. So we gotta cut through the park because it's super safe." So they do, and of course, Blackout immediately gets them. Yeah, you right. can't be safe in this area. It's full with gangs, right? <laughs> so he gets them, and they scream, and so immediately. Danny Ketch is like, I have to go help. I'm in. I have to be Ghost Rider. I am like t- all dying in the bushes. And I'm here. not very good. And my motorcycle's gone. Also, you can't be Ghost Rider because you don't have your motorcycle. Yeah, well, that's fine because Danny or Johnny Blaze also hears the scream. Yes. Because somehow he's nearby, so he goes. <laughs> the motorcycle, by the way, hears Danny Ketch needs him and goes to him. <laughs> so then he becomes the Ghost Rider. Sweet. Sweet. Okay. So he's like ready to go. Awesome. Look at this. So he's like, here we go, Blackout, it's on. You killed my sister. Oh, oh. Blackout was the one who killed Blackout her. Blackout went into the, figured out Blackout who Blackout shot his sister? No. With a gun? She oh. was in a coma in the hospital from oh. that. And he figured out who Danny Catch was. And after he burned his face, he went into the hospital and killed her in a coma. Oh my Wait, God. do we know that? Or does Danny Catch just, just say that just now? Like he knew it the whole time, but we didn't know? No, we knew that. Oh, we, we saw the whole know. thing happen oh, in the last volume oh i did that for your benefit I thank see. you and blaze shows up and shoots him in the back what ah, damn it because he's like oh zarathos you're bad Wait, you're right. a bad guy you can't tell that he's like parlaying with, S- with nope blackout because blackout gets away <laughs> blackout runs, runs off away. he's like well, yeah. free and johnny and danny catches like, i don't got time for this Right. I gotta get Blackout! So he runs after Blackout yeah. and then gets hit again with another shot oh, from God. Miss Meager who then has yeah. him laying on the ground. Yep. And She's... so then he does his classic move of punching the gun and he destroys his, her gun. I'm surprised he didn't That's imbue cool. it with more power. No, he just destroys it. And then he runs after Blackout because he's like, vengeance! Yep, Still he's got a one-track yeah. mind. Right, so, so then... It's just a big chase. So then they catch up. And chasing. Exactly. Yeah. And he's got a hostage and then everyone shows up and Johnny Blaze is like, oh. 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 I'm in someone else's comic. I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> were trying to say, oh. Oh, you're not a bad guy. Oh. Oh, I'm... Oh, I'm the dick. Oh, you're doing the thing that I did when I was the Ghost Rider. Like, <laughs> oh. trying to help people. He like, drops the gun. Oh. Oh. You know, I probably should go home. No! 
So essentially, no, help. essentially, they end up like Meager shoots him, and then like uh, nice. Jandy Catch gets behind him as Ghost Rider, and mm-hmm. then like he's like, "Blaze, you got to shoot us both." Okay. So he does, and in doing so, like his whole face is on like just now destroyed. he burns his whole face. Yeah, now he's <laughs> like decimated, and then Ghost Rider. Of course, now that he has been shot twice. Like, now Ghost Rider can beat up Black F because yes. I guess it's on the same level now. Right. So he just starts beating the hell out of him, and then Johnny Blaze is like, well, you can't kill him. Why? Because I said so. He's a crappy vampire. Because he's alive. He convinces him not to kill him, so then he rides away, and the police show up, and people well, get arrested. Wait, what about he just says, like, no, don't kill him? Yeah, Black F gets arrested. He gets arrested. Well. arrested. I don't know. The cops are like, oh well. my god, you poor man! And they take him to the hospital, and then Black F, of course, will, like, heal, like, kill Black the people. Black F, and then Black F will eventually come back. Um, yeah, good. of course! So now Ghost Rider goes back to the cemetery because he is dying. He turns back into Danny Catch. Danny Catch is also dying. Oh, no. Well, full of holes. So it's fine um, because uh, Johnny Blaze follows him and then takes him to the hospital and then befriends Mrs. Catch and Johnny and Danny's girlfriend. So, oh, like, Danny's got a girlfriend while this is going on? Oh, yeah. Her name's Stacy. She's like, uh, her dad was like a uh, captain of the police and like she wants to become a cop and like, oh. but he's got no time for her. So oh. like, she's always like, I don't understand. He used to be with me. And yeah, you gotta, you gotta infuse that, that real world problem. Yeah, yeah drama exactly. Drama. Yeah, that real world problem of you turn into a demon and it's really inconvenient yeah. for your like, right? romantic life. That's right. So <laughs> then, okay, so then... Danny is like all like, ah, you shouldn't be here, Johnny Blaze, but whatever. Mrs. Catch is like, he's our friend now. Danny. Okay, Daniel. What? Because so he then, said so? Well, because he helped him. Because Johnny he was, hung out with him. Well, no, because he saved her, her son. Right. And oh, right. she lost her daughter. But he also was the reason he was her yeah, daughter. Doesn't and doesn't know that. Doesn't yeah, know that. He conveniently so then uh, Daniel, uh, Dan, Daniel, Danny's released it's... from the hospital. Johnny's the one that picks him up because everybody's too busy to get him. And they have a conversation because like, Johnny's like, <laughs> hey. No friend, man. No one else <laughs> Your, your mom didn't show hospital. up. Your girlfriend's not here. Of all you've got. <laughs> so he's like, hey, I was going to go home. I, I, you can't go home. But instead, I'm not going to go no home. home. No, Johnny says that. He's like, oh. I was going to go home, but I'm not. And I'm not going to kill you. Instead, I'm going to help you not suck. So I'm going <laughs> to train you I'm to I'm going to train you how to fight because right. you have no idea what you're doing. Because you imbued the shotgun that was being held against you with the thing that could kill you. That's right. <laughs> so he, you clearly need assistance. So, so they just spends, fight? He spends a couple of weeks. They are training him, oh. trying to help him out. And then like they have like this cute scene where they work on the, uh, uh, Danny's bike together. And then like this black car rolls up and like picks up like Danny's mom. And she's like, I'm going to church. Bye. And he's like, what? Mm. And this has been happening randomly. She'll just disappear. She's not around. Where's she going? Who knows? Church. Finally, she's going to church. In a but black car in a, pulled up by, right? By rich people. So, Danny's like, I'm going to get to the bottom of this because something's happening and I know that's <sighs> what's going on. And Johnny's, Johnny's like, you're really overreacting. Yeah, meanwhile, John Blaze's family has filed a missing person report. <laughs> right? So then they they follow her to the church where, like, like he's like, I'm just going to go in. And Johnny's like, can we just, bust in on this can we, like, just try to be sneaky? Yeah, can we try yourself. To, so they totally fail at that, and like they end up punching people, and they end up going inside. Um, where at gunpoint, where we meet Reverend Steege, who of course is wearing his black onesie that has a white cross on it, because clearly he was part of some sort of religious acrobatic act yeah. at one point, and then decided to open up a church. I mean, he looks awesome. He looks like Burt Reynolds meets <laughs> Doctor Strange plus for Tim Dalton. Yeah, plus Tim Dalton and the <laughs> Redeemer. It's just totally silly. So in the church, everything goes to hell. Like they're like, "Oh, these people shouldn't be here." And then like Mrs. Catch gets involved because her son is there, and she gets punched in the face. Like a, what, what the fuck what, is what happening? What church service is happening? Is she it's one of them crazy churches? So it's getting real bad it's, in here, right? It looks like, like there's only three people in this service. Well, that's okay. So it's totally about to get way worse because that's what that the Heim, the Hobgoblin shows up. Yes, and the Hobgoblin has turned totally religious, and he's looking for true believers. Yeah, you see. Uh, Jason Mackendale was the second Hobgoblin, and uh-huh. then he died. And when he uh, died, he went to hell because he was a dick. And then when he came back, he was he had a demon attached to him too. Oh, and so this this demon Hobgoblin arrived, and he was they they stretched that as far as they could, and then eventually they separated the two. Uh-huh. And then they had Jason Mackendale Hobgoblin and the Demo Goblin. Ah, and this the guy, Demo Goblin. Yes, and so this is Hobgoblin plus Demo Goblin pre demo goblin the you know separation separation and you this go. guy's like a religious zealot who's trying to get like converters and stuff and he yep. he kills non-believers yep there's a whole arc where spider-man and ghost rider team up to fight him and he's like kidnapped a child who's named adam who's trying he's trying to like mm. you know it, it's, it's i think he murders the kid's family and stuff he's a real dick wow. right. he's also like kind of crazy well yeah so spider-man feels bad for him yeah he looks crazy he also uses pumpkin bombs that have the batman symbol as their mouth that's what bats look like so anyway <laughs> 
So anyway, he busts in. Everything turns to shit even more so. Danny Catch becomes the Ghost Rider immediately. Uh, and that's about the time Spider-Man swings right, in. Right, because like, Hobgoblin's here. Because this like, book is dying and they need to infuse it with some sales. So Spider-Man shows up. And Spider-Man, instead of helping to stop Hobgoblin... Jumps on top of Ghost Rider and is like, Zarathos! Except he doesn't call him Zarathos. He's oh like, he's like, Ghost Rider, I know you're going to kill him. Don't kill him. You can't kill him. Right. Why not? So, so while this is all happening, Hobgoblin notices Mrs. Catch praying with her rosary and takes her. Oh, no. Because then, Spider-Man was too busy stopping yeah, the hero from being right. so effective. Then, so then Ghost Rider leaves because he's like, I gotta go find Hobgoblin. He's mine. And then uh, Johnny Blaze and Spider-Man, Spider-Man have kind of a funny moment because he's like, weren't you... Ghost Rider? Who's this guy? Was, um, Who the fuck is that? So then, then Spider-Man follows him because he put a spider tracer. Oh, he's still tracer. in the book. I thought he was going to be gone. No, no, no he, put, he puts we a spider sell more tracer issues. on Ghost Rider. So then he follows him, and they have like a long, ridiculous conversation about how like Spider-Man's not going to let him kill him. So then both Johnny Blaze and um, Ghost Rider end up going to a cemetery because Spider-Man abandons them to go actually try to save the day. Okay. Yeah. And this is where they have a long, boring conversation about uh. how, like, this go Like, he's talking to Ghost Rider, not Danny Catch. He's like, uh. you gotta not, like, do this stuff to Danny and blah, blah, right. blah. And they just go into this whole thing You're for a long Danny's while. ruining Danny's life. Right, and Spider-Man is <laughs> He's trying having a conversation to... with a screaming, flaming Yeah, he's just going man. for it. He's like, who cares? He so, was one once, so he's yeah. like, listen, man, I, I've been where you are. <laughs> so then Johnny, or Danny does what he does best. He goes and tries he to leaves. find information in a bar, and then, like... <laughs> he beats people up. Yeah, and then, like, everybody, like, ends up converging on the bar. They all end up there. And so, like, Hobgoblin figure... gets to the bar, no, Spider-Man No, goes Spider-Man no. And, and Johnny end up at the bar together oh, with okay. Danny. They figure out where to go. They're gonna go there. Which they do just... extract information from these guys. <laughs> kind of. I think, actually, Spider-Man just figures it out. Um, oh. but... Well, because he's the one who's not, like, freaking out all right? the time. Right, and it's just in the nick of time... Because while Hobgoblin was doing Hobgoblin things and being scary and creepy in this little place with, like, literally a small pile of bodies, Mrs. Catch discovers that small pile of bodies and freaks out and knocks over a bunch of candles and sets the place on fire. And he's just like, you're not a believer. I'm going to kill you. And that's okay because literally everybody shows up and just starts doing everything and anything. And, like, Hobgoblin immediately, A, is hit by a motorcycle, but then waylays Ghost Rider, like... Yeah, like he's nothing. Yeah, exactly. He shoots him with fire or whatever. Spider-Man tries to jump in and stop the two of them from fighting because oh he's God. concerned that he's going to kill Hobgoblin. That's so dumb. And then Spider-Man ends up saving Mrs. Catch okay. and Johnny, okay. and they all go outside, and then the house blows up because it was filled with... Explosives yeah. or gasoline or something. And then... Um, is, so Hobgoblin is like supernatural? Yes. yes. Well, oh, yes. he wasn't originally. It was just okay. like a ripoff of, Go- of uh, Green Goblin. Right. But then when he died, he, he like, became a demon. But it's okay. So like, I guess Ghost Rider saves Hobgoblin and brings him outside. But Hobgoblin, like much like every end of a horror movie, comes He's back. He's like, I'm back! And ah! then everybody like shoots him with their various things. One of which is a shotgun. And that's okay by Spider-Man. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> He's just like, eh. Well, well, because like the shotgun figures... can't kill Hobgoblin, but 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 Ghost Rider maybe could. Right. Right. So then then they <sighs> just all say goodbye, and that's the end of Spider Man and Hobgoblin. What do they do with Hobgoblin? Spider Man takes care of him. He ties him up and carries him back. He just takes him back. Yeah. And then he escapes in the next Spider Man book. Right. And, exactly. We so can't then... have that his villain actually defeated in a freaking Ghost right. Rider book. That's not in here. No, no. Not in here. <laughs> so then Jenny or Johnny Blaze leaves. He's like, later. If you turn to be Zarathos, I'll come back for you. I'm keeping an eye on you. I gotta, oh but I gotta now go. that I'm established as a character in the Ghost Rider mythos, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm gonna go. I gotta go back to my family. Right. Yeah. They yeah. think I'm dead. Yeah. So I should probably go take yeah. care of that. So, should have thought of that when you were putting the new rims on the freaking motorcycle, you so, jackass. So then we wrap up the uh, oh, Reverend the black car? Stige thing. Yeah, right. what's up with that? Why yeah. did she even go there? She goes back and like she's going there because he promises that he can bring Barbara back. And she's like, I'm going back there tonight oh. and it's gonna happen. And like Danny's like, don't go. And then, like, she goes anyway. Yeah. And then he follows her, and Steve has got, like, this whole thing set up, and all these people are here to have loved ones brought back, and he brings one of them into the mausoleum, and he's just like, I'm gonna bring back your wife. It's gonna be awesome. Mm-hmm. And then there's, like, all these sounds, and then a scream, and he comes out, and he's just like, all right, Mrs. Cat, you're next. We're gonna leave them in there for now and let them have yeah. one another. And, of course... Danny's there and he sees this whole thing. He's like, "Ooh, did he get you!" And he goes in the mausoleum because he's like, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna try detecting." And he goes in. It's all dark. And he slips and falls down. On I can't something. catch a cold. He has no idea what's happening half the time. He's no gonna idea. figure he's gonna it gonna out. Figure it out. And he slips and falls on his ass. And like, he's like, "It smells funny in here." And like, he yeah, goes it's a mausoleum. He doesn't ever think to check what he slipped in. Instead, he's clued off by the fact that there is a bloody handkerchief outside. He's like, "Aha! A clue! Blood!" <laughs> I found yes. a clue. I found a clue. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Where did, what happened to Zodiac? 
I was about to say. Is it just not I didn't want to spoil anymore? it. I think Zodiac is a key player in this whole stupid thing. No, he will come back. Oh, oh good. God. But not in this story. So this is just a random not other story. Where so every yes. issue, there's a new stupid villain. Kind of. So anyway, um, literally every issue they invent a villain. I know. Uh, Reverence. The Reverend Siege is invented in this, and so is Snowblind. Um, yeah. So anyway, he becomes Ghost Rider. He goes after Steve. Steve wow, is... this is a horrifying transformation. Oh, you yeah, know, every transformation is spectacularly rendered. It's terrible. It's like, oh my god, you could you could kind of feel it. You're like, that's yeah, not your face fun. melts off, yeah. melting. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. and it does it in reverse when he comes back to being. Yeah, yeah his face like. <laughs> so Steve is using his like rip off eye of Agamotto here, and like he's essentially there's a character called Sin Eater. Yes. Right? And he's like the new Sin Eater, which is why I think he's working with Centaurus, because we end up seeing a shadowy figure at one point. We never find out who that is, oh. but he's involved with them, and he's trying to get, like, souls and all that stuff, right? But he's literally also eating people. Um, <laughs> <laughs> literally eating people. He's also eating people. So then they fight, and like, but he's right. just a guy, kind of. And yeah, like, I guess he's got, got, like, scary, he's thing. got scary claws. But then he just beats him up, and then like he tries to do his pen and stare on him. But he's like, "Your soul doesn't belong to you, so that's oh. not gonna work." So he so can't then... do the pen and stare on anybody. He Every literally time never he tries it. It does he not. He never work. pulls it off. It's true. <laughs> so anyway, why does he even bother? So then, well, yeah, I, know, I don't know. So then he just decides he's like, "All right, if I can't punish you with that, I'm just gonna beat you up." Yeah, I'll just punch yeah, you a lot. Just, so I... then he does, and then being punched with bones sucks. Right. So then he ends up taking Mrs. Catch home, and she gives up the ghost on Barbara, and she gets over it. Good. And she just so, gets over it. Well, she, she almost died twice. So like, I think she's done. Yeah, but Did she they reveal totally already? Was... Set before they started fighting, she was like, "Yes, I miss Barbara so much." And then, and then ghost Danny Rider comes in and punches up. the guy who's gonna do it. And then she's like, "Yeah, I guess it was a bad idea." Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think now, she sees that like he was gonna kill her. What was uh... he doing? For real though. <laughs> Like, he wasn't was bringing the loved ones back. He was just killing them? Yeah, he was just killing them and taking their souls <laughs> and energy. <laughs> we could just go find random drifters and kill them and take their we energy. We need to Why come up with a whole plan. elaborate ruse. Why? Well, yeah, have a, it makes you feel any better. Like, the guy who he is, like... Um, Working for? Yes. Takes his eye out. This is in the epilogue oh, here. one eye out? Yeah. So for, then... For failing? Yes. Yeah. So now Ghost Rider is back on getting... Zodiac. We're back on okay. Zodiac. Right. Okay, we so gotta I, have, get I gotta get my eye on the prize. Totally yeah. unnecessary He's story. He's like, okay, because Danny Cash is like, right, I'm focused now. We gotta get Zodiac. I'm working one on one with Ghost Rider now. I totally get it. We gotta right, get we're vengeance. In sync now. Okay, here we go. We're gonna interrogate a guy. I thought. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna go find a random guy. Totally beat him up. do that. Oh my god. And from doing that, he does get the information. Zodiac, of course, finds out about that, and then we'll use that guy later on. Okay. But while this is all going on, we take a hard left and, and meet this gentleman here, and this not him. It's this guy wants to kill himself. He's had enough of his life. He can't take it anymore. His wife's divorcing him. His wife got As the you kids. Do. He's like, I'm gonna kill myself. It's all over. He takes the gun, puts it in his mouth or to the side of his head. He can't do it. He doesn't have the courage. Throws the gun. It goes off. It like shoots him anyway. But he doesn't die. And that's about the time, of course, Mephisto shows up. And he's like, Hello. But Mephisto <laughs> looks like the oh, demon dumb, dumb. from uh, that movie with Tom Cruise. Legend. He's legend. Yeah. No, he does. And he's just like, <laughs> he's like, Hey, so you want to kill yourself? That's cool, I get it. You. But you, you're just scared. That's all right. How about this? I'm going to give you the courage to kill yourself. And you just give me your soul. You just give me your soul. What? And it's going to be fine. That's, that's the worst deal ever. That's what you want, right? You never. Want that. That's not even. That's not even <laughs> like a deal. It's not even like anything anyone would ever want. The guy's like. It's like, hey, hey, it looks like you want a big, delicious sandwich. Well, I have one made with shit. <laughs> and it's like. I <laughs> That is the opposite. If you give me your soul, I'll give you the right. Sandwich. If you give me, oh, and I'll sell it to you for a thousand dollars. Wow, I can, I, I could make a sandwich, or I could buy your sandwich made of shit. <laughs> How could I refuse? I assume he takes the deal <laughs> because it's so scrumptious. Well, he goes, he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa! Like my grandma warned me about making deals with the devil, and the fish is just kind of like, come on. Yeah, but you were going to kill yourself. Come she probably on. told you to do that, too. You don't care about what your Come grandma says. On, just... just give me your soul. Just give me your soul. Just, on, just give it to me. So he takes the deal. And He's, he becomes another Of course. No! <laughs> he just blows up. Like, he blows up the whole he thing. Explodes. He just explodes. <laughs> Wait, does he shoot himself in the head? That was the, what he was supposed to do, right? No, he just he just blows up. And then Mephisto's like, oh, yeah, hey, by the way, yeah, the stipulation is, like, you have the courage to die, but you can't kill yourself. And nothing can kill you. What? You didn't say that! That's not a deal! It's not a deal. And, like, the guy's like, you lied to me. And he's like, hey, take it up with the Ghost Rider. Oh. What? Why? I... <laughs> The only reason why I would go to with me, it's with I, Ghost Rider. I would literally, what? if I were, I'd go to Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider, what do you want? I'd be like, why? 
<laughs> Why does Mephisto think that you're involved in this? Well, then, so anyway, so then he goes... He, his, oh, Zodiac got a new colored cloak. Now, yeah, now it's, it's purple. purple. Yeah, now it's purple. Now he looks a little bit more like... Now he looks like a complete asshole. Because he looks a little bit more like Mysterio. Um, mm. Yeah, or Sleepwalker. Yeah. Damn it. He has claws, too? Why does everyone have fucking claws? Because claws are rad. Because it's cool and awesome. <sighs> So then, um, the guy, guy. the guy's whole apartment is destroyed. Normally I wouldn't even include this, but this is a key part. Great. It's totally essential to this totally. mystery. I think it is. Goes across the hall to the girl who's over there, who's clearly single. Why didn't you just go and bang her? We'll never know. Cause she's like, Hey man, what happened? You okay? She's like, come on in, come on in. Right. She seems to love and, him and care about and, him. And, yeah. well, she cares about him at the very least. And he's like, Oh my, there was a, part, a fire in my apartment. All my stuff's gone. Do you have any clothes I could wear? She's like, yeah, I had this boyfriend. who's kind of into some weird stuff, but here you can have some of his clothes. She gives him a costume. If it is, it is literally the lamest costume. <laughs> but like, is... it's the outfit that he can wear so he can fight Ghost Rider and look like he's fighting a villain. Like, Oh, so then he also wants her motorcycle. She's not going to give it to him. She's Aww. like, I'll take you on it. What she gives him to wear is a fishnet t-shirt, hot green bike pants, tube socks, green shoes, I think cut off gloves or at least gauntlet things, and then like a big like gold armband. So nothing. So he wears that for the rest of the book. He might as well wear nothing. Because it's such a hodgepodge of random crap right? that means, yeah. that means but, literally nothing. That and, is... and by the way, out of the gate, he kicks her off the motorcycle, tries to kill himself by being hit by a bus, can't do it. <laughs> Does he kill her too? No, he, he just, he's just like, whoop, motorcycle. She's like, he, like, why couldn't you just have like jumped in front of the bus? Why, right, why you, you ruined ruin my stuff? Did he get this huge from his deal with Mephisto? Because I don't remember. Or was he always this gigantic? I, I'm guessing he must before. have. Yeah, because no, he's not look, that He's a little big. jacked. Yeah, uh, he, he's interchangeably jacked. Right. Um, so, while this is going on, Ghost Rider finally has come across Zodiac, but um, Zodiac, of course, has his giant gun, and he shoots him with said gun, and of course it hurts him. Yeah, it and ke- then keeps Where does working. he get this gun from? Where he makes them. Why does he have a gun that can hurt a fucking demon? He had that before. He used it earlier. with the demon. Okay. They gave him a demon shooting gun? I guess. Or they gave him the technology in order so to So, Ghost Rider it. just kind of is like, he's like, okay, here we go. I'm doing my thing. Remember before with Blackout, where he was just like, Blackout, it's on. He's like, yeah. Zodiac, it's on. And yeah, every that's time about the time. Now. That's about the time the guy. Like, that rando shows up. Yeah, and, and like. Cold cocks him in the back. Yeah. That sucks. And he's just like, you gotta kill me. You have to kill me. Kill me, Ghost Rider. Can kill me, kill me, kill me, kill oh, me, kill me. only he can kill him. And but like, he's like, not gonna Ghost do Ghost Rider's like, I'm not gonna kill you, man. What are you doing? I gotta kill Why Zodiac. I'm gonna have to Even Zodiac. Even though you killed me, oh, you said kill me. He promised you'd kill That's me. That's pretty much it. Yeah. And he's just like, leave me alone. And like, literally, this guy who uh, Zodiac will dub suicide. <laughs> suicide... <laughs> Spends the rest of this issue trying to get Ghost Rider to kill him. Right. So they invent an antagonist in an issue to... It's near the end of yeah. the book. And, like, in a sea of antagonists. Yeah. There's a brand new guy. We have a brand new guy. That's, that's so lazy and offensive. So he tries to use Ghost Rider's chain to hang himself. Ghost Rider won't let him do it. Oh, Ghost so Rider weird. ends up, like, pushing him. And in doing so, he kind of falls off the building. He's like, yes! He, has, he yells, thanks. <laughs> Does it kill him? No! Uh. So then, like, Ghost Rider's like, Zodiac! Focused! Again! It's you! And he grabs him and it turns out... It says out I will it's, break you. That's yeah, awesome. it's a doppelganger. Hey, Zodiac's uh, cape is, is uh. green now. That's because that was a doppelganger. It's not even him! Was, Damn it! It was the doppelganger. It was the guy who he ended up getting the information from. Uh. Then, of course, Suicide shows back up before he can really do anything else. Oh, my God. And like, they're having, like, a moment. And then Zodiac, the real Zodiac, shows up. And he starts, like, shooting Ghost, Ghost Rider. Rider. Like he does all the time. <laughs> exactly. And, like... Wait, this is the real Zodiac for real. For though, real, this for real. He tries you to get away. You can tell he's smoking. Yeah, he he tries to fly away. Uh, Ghost Rider pulls him down. He falls into the subway. Wait, why is he trying to fly away? He just shot him. Yeah, he's like, he's I've defeated right? you. Bye. That's everyone's move in this book. It's, if you it's like, leave. Blam! I'm out of yeah. here. So then he goes into the to the subways, and of course, Suicide's gonna follow. We change yeah, artist totally differently. We changed artist. Yeah. Wow. Like, this is totally different. This is a, Ron Wagner is the guest penciler for this one. Oh, all right. And Tex inks it. Um, and so, Tex is like, I'll ink it, but yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm drawing, I'm not drawing anymore. This suicide is where I draw the line. Sonia gets a, a hostage. Um, Ghost Rider's trying to save him. Suicide shows up, and he's just like, he kind of has this moment where he's like, wait, maybe if I help Zodiac, 
Or if I get rid of Zodiac, Ghost Rider will have time to kill me. What? That's his plan. His plan is I will defeat Zodiac then. Yeah, I'll defeat him. And he like Zodiac tries to use his claws of the lion. <sighs> but he can't kill him because he's, he's, yeah, he's well, in Kindle. Yeah, yeah suicide Ghost thinks that might happen. And like a subway car comes and it hits suicide. He still doesn't die. But that's okay <laughs> because so now... Every method of killing yourself is attempted it's on not, this. Yeah, yes. it's, none of it works. And then, of course, because there's a subway, Zodiac and Ghost Rider have a sweet fight on top on of the, the subway, subway car. Nice. Yeah. Up until the fact that Zodiac runs away and into the sewers. And there's a point at which Zodiac is like, stop chasing me! Yeah, why am I the subject of your attack? I I, I do, I did like three things. He did a lot of stuff. He like, There was a lot of like child death. Like There's a yeah. lot of things going on. Yeah, he tried so, to bring demons into the world. Right. He still wants yes. to, right? So. Yes. He is Danny Ketch's like, main antagonist. Right. I am your supervillain. Oh. Exactly. That sucks. So Suicide loses them, but like he finds the motorcycle and he realizes the motorcycle will come to him, so he rides the motorcycle. Suicide rides it? Yeah, he just jumps on and he's like, okay, take it, me. Did Mephisto deliberately send Suicide to help Zodiac? Or is that no. like coincidence? He's not helping Zodiac at all. He's trying to stop. Like You know what I mean? Like yep, it's, it's just, just totally... Why does this happen just... at the time when Ghost Rider is fighting Zodiac? I think it's because Mackie thinks that... If we just have Ghost Rider fight Zodiac, that would be boring. Right? Right. This is the epic conclusion of Volume 2. Right? I think of it that way, but like... Yeah, of this, of arc. this arc. Yep. God damn it. So then we end up removing the mask of Zodiac. Oh, no, we we find... fi- finally he'll be unmasked. Yes. We find this hot mess. It's of just eyes. a guy with like a thousand eyes. Because wow. Zodiac used to be an occult book salesman. Much like Ray Stance in Ghostbusters 2. Mm-hmm. Does he have 12 eyes? He's got a... He's, he's got a whole lot. I bet he does. I'm sure. And he... Yeah, he does. ...ends up being visited by a bunch of demons who are like, hey, if you let us, like, live... We'll give you a bunch of eyes. Yeah, like, live up in here, we'll give you a whole lot of power. Oh, oh so the so eyes like are in him. him. Yeah, like, they're all in there. There's, like, six demons in him or whatever. Yeah, like so he's got demons. all his power and yeah. stuff like that, and, like, that's why he's trying to help the other demons. Like, it's all tied okay. in, essentially. It's like, I'm right? basically a demon at this point. <laughs> all right, so then Zodiac runs away... And in standard Zodiac fashion, takes another hostage, which yeah. Ghost Rider, of course, saves. And then he runs away again. And then he goes on to the Brooklyn Bridge, presumably, where he takes a pregnant lady hostage. Oh, no. So then- Zodiac has deduced that he cannot fight Ghost, Ghost Rider. Rider. He's like, I just gotta get the hell out of here. Yes. yes. Pretty much. Like, I am losing. So then Suicide attacks Zodiac while holding while he's holding the woman. So the woman flies off the side of the bridge. Oh. And she's like trying to hang on and Suicide decides to save her even though he's just like, what does it even matter? You just let him die. Right. And he right. saves them. Uh-huh. And then um, Ghost Rider ends up like st- like stopping Zodiac from hurting Suicide. And he's, he's trying to like just like, he's going to want to use the pen and stare. He can't because he's got too many eyes. <laughs> I wouldn't it's even not know which eyes to look at. It does work, right? Apparently. The final act of not being able to use his pen and stare. <laughs> exactly. So he's like, it I'm going to... It would gonna... work on you if not for all those eyes. So hang on. So... Or if you were blind, or if you were a robot, or if you were a demon. <laughs> so Zodiac says like, oh, well, you can't use your pen and stare. I'm just going to get away. Bye. And then like, Suicide's like, you can't let him get away. And he just jumps and pushes him and himself off of the bridge. Okay. And they land on a garbage barge, which, of course, for some reason, is just filled with huge metal spikes. <laughs> yeah. And they both land on them. <laughs> but then, Suicide's fine. It's like they fall into the pit. Yeah. Suicide lives. Oh, oh okay. I thought that and, was where we're going to kill And Zodiac suicide. takes a spike right through the chest. And just to be safe, they take his body and they throw it in a furnace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid he might come back. Let's just... That's enough. Yep. Yeah. And they just throw him in the That's, furnace. You're not really a person or anything. So. Yeah. Exactly. Suicide is, 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 is hailed as a hero because he saved the pregnant lady right. and then Danny Catch is like alright that's like one vengeance down one to go death watch I'm coming for you oh, okay. but you didn't get vengeance suicide killed yeah, him yeah suicide killed him he took no, your vengeance from no, you no see, no see I well, I was I, in the vicinity though if, listen if he didn't want to get me to kill him he wouldn't have gotten involved so trust so, me what, is suicide involved. like a character now <laughs> Yeah, hey, wait, so what, what, what are, you, are you a supporting character in my book now? Is that what's going on here, Suicide? Like, are we going to hang out? Are you going to move into my apartment? Because yeah. you're not well, an apartment. Suicide right? should be like, now you have to kill me. Yeah. And he's That's like, my whole thing. Like, nah, I, I got was old. really into that like like three pages yeah. ago. Well, that was, was my mom. driving thing. Yeah, that's what made me who I am. Uh, my name is literally Suicide. Yeah. I am trying to do At no time it. did I decide not to kill myself. Right. Right. That's saving the fight. pregnant lady like gave No, he still wants to die. Oh. It's just that he's, he's just he's like... He's figured out that Ghost Rider's like, just not gonna kill yeah, him. he's just not gonna do it. Right, I guess he's, he's not, not gonna, gonna kill me. I guess I'll just shut up about it. Yeah. For now. That For sucks. now. I'm sure it'll come up in the next volume or whatever. I'm sure it won't. <laughs> this is... 
Wow. Danny catches epic. I gotta tell you guys, this was, this is, I guess, like, ten issues. Yeah. Actually, one more because of the Doctor Strange one, so that yeah. was a long episode. Yeah, it was a very long episode. But I think it's totally worth it. It's... Because Danny Catch... fun. Danny Catch, I gotta tell you. It's the worst. <laughs> I'm telling you, my favorite, favorite issue is that one where he just gets his ass kicked. <laughs> oh, you mean like every single one? <laughs> well, but that one with the flight with, the, with the glow in the dark. Yeah, the glow in yeah, the, 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 the epic issue. The one that they were like, we're going to go all out. Yep. We're going to invest a lot of money and make it glow in the dark. <laughs> yep. The one that just displays Ghost Rider as the tool bag he is. Yep. Nothing is resolved here. No. Well, than no, Zodiac, Zodiac. But like, the stuff with Nightmare, like, doesn't come up again. No. Nightmare's like, like, yeah, maybe you're Ghost Rider. No, I'm a different Ghost Rider. Oh, okay, bye. Yeah, they don't explain why he doesn't remember anything about being Zarathos. Well, he's not Zarathos. I know, but they don't explain. Oh, no. Though that The idea is that they're, they're leading you to that. They're like, oh, well, why doesn't he? It's yeah, supposed to be the uh, great mystery of Danny Ketch. Right, right, but like everyone's already stopped reading the book by then. <laughs> right, well, because the character doesn't make any goddamn sense. No. If you don't explain that. It's almost like Howard Mackey was making it up as he went along. Right? It's like, would it be, oh, would it be awesome if he was created when the motorcycle just comes out of nowhere and he just gets on? He like, just gets oh, on oh, right oh, in the middle. Where did it come from? We just get right into it. Just right, just skip all that backstory. Right, but then what? Yeah, what, but like, who wait, is he though? Yeah, and why? Like, why does he do? We'll anything? get to that. We'll get to that. <laughs> what does First, he have to do with Johnny Blaze? I don't know. What does he? Oh, great Johnny question. Blaze? That's a good question. You know what? That's a good idea. Johnny <laughs> Blaze. Let's put him in the book. Well, who's his villain? He's got to have villains. Okay, I'll invent one each issue, and they'll be totally lame and stupid. And their big move will be they'll 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 attack Ghost Rider, and when they have the upper hand, they'll leave. In fact, that's a good idea. That's a good idea that everybody should have. Anytime anybody has any major conflict, they'll just walk away from it, and then the, then, then the book will end. And then, yeah, and then we'll, and then they can come back, and, and then the they can buy. Issue. They but, can they can spend two or three dollars and find out what happens next time. But Ghost Rider looks great. He looks he great. Look great. Some of this art is awesome. Yeah, even like, when he gets his ass shit. kicked, yeah. he looks pretty sweet. Yep. Yeah. This is yeah. He gets his ass kicked a lot, he and is. like here's the thing. There's, like, a difference between, like, oh, he's new to it, to, like, come on! Yeah. just, like, stop. His just, superpowers you should be able to a lot of bullets. No. You should be able to succeed by accident by now, Ghost Rider! <laughs> I seriously caught myself laughing aloud at many yeah. moments. Yeah, how could you not? I got to say, when <laughs> Suicide, right? When Suicide shows up in that outfit, I was like, well, All right. this is great. Yeah, right? This is Why great. not? <laughs> Finally! Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider, everybody. Ghost Rider, Danny Catch. Classic. Oh, it's classic, all right. <laughs> Volume two. We will tend to try to make this available. If nothing else, you can pick it up digitally from Comicsology. That is where I ended up getting volume one right. um, of this. It's it's a lot of book. It's a lot of fun. It is ridiculous. If you want to see Ghost Rider fail constantly <laughs> and teaming up with people. Dare I say the worst superhero ever. <laughs> Well, you can jump on board and, and read this. <laughs> Judge for yourself. And I am really glad someone sent this to us because I, I, I enjoyed this. I enjoyed reading this. Yeah. It was a good episode. I enjoyed episode. telling you yep. guys that I succeeded this. in its mission. <laughs> so I'm really glad we got to do this one. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Don't yeah, forget. if that hasn't convinced you. <laughs> <laughs> I promise we do things that are not as 90s-tastic or bad on this show. You yeah. cover a lot of great books. I have. I've covered some great books. Yeah. I have. I promise. I promise. But if you want, if you enjoyed this, check out some of our other episodes where you have a good laugh at comics or just enjoy talking about them. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Tiffany. I'm Sal. And I'm Ethan. And we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>